Hey guys, it's Tim Estradol, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. My passion is trucks and SUVs. That's your passion too? Hit subscribe below and click the bell to be notified of new videos I put out like this one. This can be different today. There is so much truck news out there, but none of it is big enough for its own video. So I kind of thought, I'm just going to put it all together in one massive truck news update video today and just get you the news, get the information you need, because you may miss it, and I just want to get it out there. So I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to get started. We're going to talk about... Ford's big decision, and I think it's a smart decision. Toyota's got a big decision coming up. Ford and Volkswagen got stuff going on. We got trains that are derailing new pickups. I mean, it's just a lot of news today. So let's get to it, starting right now. Okay, let's start with some of the biggest news that I think is the Ford F-150. They're talking about doing a trimmer package with this. This is pretty cool. So if you recall, Ford's got the Raptor and they have FX4, but there's a lot of differences between those two trucks and a big gap in what you can get on capability. That's where like Ram Rebel stepped in, Chevy Silverado Trail Boss stepped in, GMC AT4 as well. Those are those vehicles, and uh, TRD Pro, Toyota, and Nissan. <laughs> I got to stop talking about this. There are a lot of vehicles that stepped in that fill that void. And so they're talking about this. I think it makes total sense. And so what they're going to look at is the Tremor, which just came out with Super Duty. That story went out last week. Um, it's going to fit into that package. You're going to get 35-inch tires, 2-inch lift up front, progressive rate springs, 1.7-inch uh, piston twin tube dap dappers, a locking rear differential, Dana limited front slip differential, uh, new running boards, skid plates, and Raptors trail control mode. So you get a bunch of those goodies in the base F-150 without doing the high output 3.5 liter, without going the whole crazy with the styling, and it should be a price point that's going to fit a little bit better for those customers who don't want to go Raptor, but they want a little bit more from the FX4. And it's going to be more competitive with those other off-road trucks that are being offered out there. So according to Authority, uh, they're saying that's exactly what Blue, Blue Wolf was thinking, what Ford's thinking. It just makes total sense. It's just a package, easy as them to pull off. The big question for this is going to be when will they come out with it? Are they going to wait till next year after the new F 150 is released, or will they do it this fall? Do, do, do. Um, other stories. So I got this sent to me um, in an email, and I, I think it's interesting. I've been following this for a while. So Toto. It's talking about investing in their plant in San Antonio. The San Antonio City Council and the Bexar County Council are putting together a package to get them to invest in Texas. So request some Japanese I'll make it for 10 year, 80% tax abatement, proposed investment into a 16 year old plant where they build the uh, Tacoma and Tundra. So you're talking $400 million, which it's an initial line. It makes it more efficient. They can Im improve the efficiencies of building both trucks. I've seen comments saying it's additional line there. I've seen comments saying it's not additional line there. It's just a big investment. And so they're talking about this. Um, the, basically, the county and the city have come together and they put this package together. There's a whole bunch of things they've been offering. You can click on the links um, and you can see a bunch of different, you know, it's basically a bunch of taxes they're going to knock off for this stuff. But they're also making sure Toyota invests in the community as well. It's part of the uh, package they put together. And so no final decision. Toyota hasn't, like, said anything back on this decision. What I think is interesting is uh, Auto News is going back to the story they reported back in April, which I reported on as well, about the shared platform, the F1 platform they're talking about with all the trucks globally. Um, the automaker plans to spread all of its trucks globally, which is interesting because uh, Hilux, so does Hilux come over here, Tacoma go over there, or does Tacoma grow? It's I don't know. There's a lot of speculation going on with this. And so they're thinking that the two pickups will share the assembly line. They're building different platforms, increasing co complexity, is a 37 cabin powertrain configuration. So the source that uh, Larry reported on says, development of shared platform pickups is near completion, could be introduced as early as next year, 2021. Details of what shared platform will mean, this is the important part, shared platform will mean in terms of design or potential features remain unknown. So, you know, I, it's not saying that the that's going to be, the truck's going to be all the same, because it doesn't make sense. Why would you have one truck that's all the same? You already offer two. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, although top Toyota executives have pledged to introduce fuel-saving hybrid technology into all Toyota models, including the automakers' lineup of pickup trucks. So, yes, I think that's going to be 
a hybrid version in that. I think they're going to share the powertrain uh, platforms between the hybrids. I, who knows? Maybe the Tacoma gets a hybrid. Maybe that's news nobody's reporting on. Will the Tacoma get a hybrid? Uh, it's interesting. If you do by this logic, you know, they're going to get one eventually. I think Tundra goes first. Toyota goes, uh, Tacoma goes next. Um, the Hilux is going to be interesting. I wonder if the Hilux and Tacoma are going to share more parts. There's a lot of controversy going on with this. I have a video, a uh, link above, that talks more about that. All right, let's go elsewhere. We have Ford and Volkswagen will on Friday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern time. We'll share details in their EV and AV alliance. Uh, this is pretty interesting news for truck guys in that there's conversations about Volkswagen's having with Ford about joining together to build more pickups. And so this call, this EV AV call is, is kind of whatever, you know, I'm not really a big fan, not really caring about that very much, but it starts creating the foundational of work that could lead to the future development of the Volkswagen and Ford pickup and sharing some knowledge. Um, I believe it's going to be a metric pickup. I don't think they're going to build in the United States. But who knows? Volkswagen needs a pickup in the United States. They are desperate for some sales. Another news item. GM recalls 160,000 pickups in Canada for fire risk. This is interesting. It's the motor in the back window. The uh, Excuse me. The rear defroster circuit could overheat and catch fire. And so um, I think I read video. Wind oh, yeah. Only trucks equipped with a power sliding rear window are being recalled. So that's what I learned. Um, there's no conversation about whether a similar recall in the U.S. is going to happen. Which, well... Sounds stupid to me. If you're going to do it in Canada, you may, uh, I don't know, it seems, makes sense. Continuing investigation for similar vehicles sold in the U.S. noting re re reports of fire stemming from the condition have been rare. They found evidence of smoke. Well, when there's smoke, there's fire. All right, so I think that's kind of interesting. Um, other news. I'm telling you, tons of news. You know, I have these photos here. This was a train derailment in Lincoln County, which is in Nevada. And look at these in the trains. Oh, look at that gladiator upside down. Uh, there's a bunch of gladiators in there. We have, ooh, hood torn off of this gladiator. Look at that rest of that train. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the damage. And then we have some uh, Silverados. A big Silverado there. And that's a GMC, looks like. Looks like a GMC there and a Silverado up there. Because I think that's what they do with Silverado badging. But they could be GMCs as well. But I believe that's a GMC and that's a Silverado. So... Wow, that's uh, if you're looking for a truck and you're waiting in a dealership, well, you're not going to get these. These got damaged big time. Oh, yeah, there's there's GMC. I was right. See, GMC and Chevy. Bam. Yeah, they got uh, they got destroyed. Oh, there's a Wrangler there, too. So, yeah, big, that was kind of interesting news on our Facebook page, which I promise you is at Pickup Truck Talk. Pickup Truck Talk. It's there. Now, over to the home page that we have. I, got several, I did like five stories this morning. We have, number one, the Ford Transit Connect diesel engine is dead. They're going to do a 1.5 liter diesel engine for the Transit Connect. Ford has killed that for the for that new Connect coming, well, it's like 2019, 2020 changes. It's kind of unclear in the article. Um, basically, they said, guess what? No demand. Demand was so low on that, they just killed it. They're also talking about killing a short wheelbase version of this as well. I did a video on this, and a lot of people wanted to know more information about these vans. Well, check it out. There's the information you know. Uh, the new... 2020 GX460 has a new off-road package, and it's got new safety technology. The off-road package adds, I believe it's crawl control. Let's click on the story real fast, because, uh, again, I wrote a bunch of these this morning. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, it's go Here we go. The styling, available off-road package, multi-train select, that's it. Multi-train select will be included in that package. And so they're going to you know, give you a little more off-road goodies there. So then let's go back to here. Uh, there's the Toyota changing plan story from yesterday. If you missed that, that's kind of an interesting story. I'm now thinking Toyota Venza, a re redo, rebuilt, redone, uh, would be kind of what's coming out of that plant. Uh, link above that story. Uh, Buick Enclave. It's got new tech. It's got a new styling. It gets new the entertainment screen or uh, entertainment system. Infotainment system. Sorry, I'm trying to speak correctly. Uh, infotainment system that's throughout all Buick products. And massaging front seats. Ooh. And finally, Lexus boosts safety on all 2020 models. They all get a standard suite of models of standard suite of safety features. Uh, it's going to be pre-collision system of pedestrian detection, which good in information on what that actually is. Lane departure alert, good information what that is. Intelligent high beams and dynamic radar crews are going to be standard throughout all Lexus vehicles. 
this isn't that big of a news because Toyota did it last year and Lexus is not doing it this year. So it's just kind of things they've been doing. So there you go. There is a ton of news recap. All right, what do you think? That's a lot of news today, right? And none of it's big, big news, like I said. So I just thought it'd be easier to put it all together into one video. And uh, I don't know if it's going to do well or not, but that's the way it is. So uh, remember, check us out on PickupTruckTalk.com. Also, PickupTruckTalk. Type it in three words, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're there, trust me. You can find us. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.